to create a beautiful full screen background video in WordPress using Elementor. I already have a video downloaded to my local computer that I'm gonna be using today. So if you guys don't have a video already, go ahead and download one that you wanna use. Now what we wanna do is navigate to a video compression tool. The one I like to use is called V.io right here. And this is gonna let you click compress a video. We're gonna go ahead and run with that. Now we want to upload our video file here. So I'm gonna select the video that I want to compress. And if you do not compress your video, it is going to lag out really bad for people trying to use your website, especially if they have slow internet connections. Now it's gonna let you change the default settings, but usually the default settings are good to go for compressing your video. If you wanna change this later on, once you already compress the video, it will allow you to do that. Now let's select compress video and that's gonna do its thing. Once it's done, it's gonna tell you how much smaller it made your video right here and it will allow you to adjust the settings again and recompress it. But for now, we're happy with this. We're gonna click download file. Now that we downloaded that, we're gonna change the name of this file because it's not really descriptive as to what it is. It's just a whole bunch of crazy numbers here. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename mine now, especially for SEO purposes. So now what we wanna do is navigate to our WordPress dashboard like so, and then we wanna go ahead and navigate to where it says media. We're going to click on that. And now we need to add a new media file here. And in this case, we're gonna be adding specifically a video. Click select files. Now select the file that you want to add here. Our video is now added to our media library here. So what we need to do is navigate to it and copy our file URL right here. Now we need to navigate to our front end here where we're actually going to click edit with Elementor. We're gonna click that. And now we're actually gonna be able to add the container where we will add this video background. As you guys can see, I already have one for our business website here, but I'm gonna go ahead and add another one down below from scratch. Now we're gonna click plus and we want it to be full screen, but keep in mind, you can do it on any of these other layouts in Elementor as well, but we want it to be just a complete full screen video. So we're gonna select that option. And now what we wanna do is we just wanna leave it like this. We don't wanna add any containers in here or anything. If you guys don't want the video to be full screen, go ahead and add a container, make the container what size you want it to be, and then you can add the video here. But what we wanna do is just leave it like this and we want to navigate to where it says style. And a lot of people have a confusion. Make sure you click edit container right here so you're in the right container and you're not putting this in the wrong place. So now we wanna to navigate to where it says style and you're gonna notice this little video icon down below where it says background, background type and you might need to open this little option here. We're gonna go ahead and select video and then if this has anything here, just go ahead and delete that. But now the video URL file that we copied, we're gonna go ahead and paste right here. And you're gonna notice that our video is successfully appearing now. And you can choose a start and an end time here. So I'm gonna go type in zero and we want it to end at 10 seconds like so. So you can select exactly where you want it to be. And if you only want it to play once, you can select this option. If you want it to also play on mobile, which I usually like it to, you can go ahead and select this option as well. And you can go ahead and add a background fallback, but keep in mind this feature is extremely spotty. What I like to do is just add proper text contrast in the case that my video does not successfully load. So for example, I probably wouldn't wanna put white text over this because if my video doesn't load, it's going to be white text over a white background. So go ahead and add something maybe a little bit darker in case this video doesn't load for somebody, they'll still be able to read any text that you put here. And now to ensure that this is full width on all devices, we're gonna go back to layout and then we're gonna target our width here. We're gonna change this to percentage like so, and we're gonna make this 100% 
to ensure that on all devices, this takes up 100% of their view width here. And now if we wanted to take up 100% of their view height, we can select view height here and make that 100. But in our case, we're gonna leave it as pixels and we're going to specify 600 pixels for now. So now you guys can see it is successfully taking up our entire screen. But what I wanna do is navigate back to style and make this play on a continuous loop. So you guys are gonna notice I did specify an end time here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this and not put anything there. And now it's just gonna go ahead and continually play on a loop and it's gonna repeat from where I specified the start time is going to be. But keep in mind, if you add an end time, it's only going to play once, even if play once is deselected here. And from here, you guys can add in whatever content you want. So let's say I want a heading, I can add that and go with the button here. You can go ahead and add that just like so. And then if you wanna center all of this, you can go ahead and head back to layout, center it, just like so, so easy. And then you can always change your colors and do whatever you want from here. I hope this video helped out. If you guys need more help or have any more questions, reach out to us through the comments in this video and we will respond to you or go to our website at kalmanwebdesign.com.